Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya and if you enjoy outfit of the day videos and you enjoy chats and you enjoy those two together, then you're in the right place. So today is Monday the 9th of November and um, it's going to be a warm day. It's going to be about 28 degrees Celsius, which is warm. And especially when you're walking around a lot up and down stairs and all that sort of business, it's going to be warm. So I'm just wearing this summer dress. Unfortunately, it is wrinkly, but I'm just, I'm going to steam it when I go downstairs, you know, I've got the little steamer, I'm just going to steam it a little bit while I'm still wearing it, just to get rid of the, the main big pleats, the the creases, I mean, the, the rest of the dress will just, you know, with body heat, and because it's going to be warm, will fall into place anyway, so I'm not too fussed about it. I'm just trying to decide if I should wear a different belt. Um, this dress just comes with its own little string belt, so I don't know, I'll see how I go. But anyway, this is the dress I'm wearing, and this is just a little cheapy, and I think I bought this from Big W, I think last year, or maybe the end of the year before, I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, that's that. Um, on my feet, I'm wearing those Zara, you know, sort of mushroom-coloured heels, uh, and I've still got that little anklet on my left ankle and the reason I changed it from my right to my left was because a little while ago I had twisted my right ankle so it was a little bit swollen and it wasn't sprained or anything but it was just a little bit swollen and so I was I had a bandage around it and um, I couldn't keep the bandage on it while I had the anklet on that foot so I switched switched it over and now it's on that one so be it <laughs> uh, in terms of jewelry everything is the same as what you've been seeing almost except I have changed out my ring that uber cake which is quite strange for me to say and I am now wearing the um, Henry Bendel ring duo that Krista sent me I think it was a two Christmases ago and now that I've sort of lost a little bit of weight and I've, I've lost a little bit of like fluid they sit better because before I couldn't wear both together because I was just like Ugh, grippy and I don't like that and I don't have nice fingers or hands look at those veins look at those veins or are they tendons or something I don't know but look how visible they are <sighs> anyway first of all problems yeah um, on my ears I am wearing these beautiful Ana Luisa earrings drop earrings and I went with these because of the yellow and again these are from Krista and then I also have added my cuffs. I haven't worn those for a while, so I've added those in. And this ear is the same as the last few videos. So that's my outfit today. But can I show you something? Can I show you something? <laughs> those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will know this already. But look. So I'm not going to tell you the whole story now, um, but it's very ironic what I'm about to tell you, right? Um, my year 12 gifted, gifted me something on Friday past. And obviously, they gifted me Gucci. They know my love for Lux. Anyway, they all pitched in. Now, I'm not going to tell you that story because I'm waiting to upload another video um, about another gift that a year 12 class two years ago gifted me the end of 2018 and the irony the irony because I had just filmed that video and I'm due to upload it this week and then this happens and I thought to myself oh my gosh it's just so coincidental and I don't want to tell you this story just yet because it's it, it, it's I just don't want to <laughs> you'll understand why eventually so you just got to hang in there but yeah that's what they gifted me they all pitched in and they gifted Anyway, I'll leave it at that. But I do have another video coming up, and that is on another item that was gifted to me. Oh, my God, I can't stand this dress. I have to iron this dress. That means I have to take it off. Anyway, that's that. So that's, I was, I was, I was, I was flabbergasted on Friday. Flabbergasted. Could not believe it. Even others were like, holy crap, wow. I said, I know, wow. But anyway. Okay, I'm going to head off because this morning I need to drop off the kids at school and uh, head off. And I think we have an early meeting, so I need to get through that. I will touch base with you probably tomorrow. So take care, everybody. God bless. Keep an eye out on my channel. Something's coming up. Leave it at that because it was a bit of an error with YouTube last night. Something uploaded briefly when it shouldn't have. So I'm not happy about that, YouTube. But anyway, I will talk to you next time. Take care, everybody. God bless. Ciao.
Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya and if you like outfit of the day videos and if you like chats and if you like them together, you're in the right place. Today's D-Day, today is November 10th and it is the day of the English exam. All Victorian kids who study English, because there are three Englishes that they can do in year 12. So there's mainstream English, which is what I teach, which is what my son's going to be doing his exam about. My students will be doing their exam um, about on, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> English teacher, I can't speak. Anyway, um, that's what that one is. Then the two other Englishes offered are English language, which is more about the mechanics of the language. It's more about how the language works, the structure, the evolution of language. Uh, it's, it's fascinating. I can't teach that because I don't have a method in that. So I just teach, just teach um, mainstream English. And then the other English, which I can teach, but I haven't, uh, is English literature. So the ones, the kids who do mainstream English are doing their exam this morning. That includes my son who's still in bed and won't get up and it is currently 7.05. And that's like freaking me out because he needs to eat breakfast and we need to leave by 7.30. I've already been to him three times. And then I heard him when I walk out, when I walked out of the room, I heard him say, hey, Google, uh, wake me up in 10 minutes. And I was like, uh, no, Google, don't wake him up in 10 minutes. Wake him up now. <sighs> anyway, I have to learn to pick my battles. That's just the way it goes. Okay. That's that. Now, uh, let me quickly get through what I'm wearing. And there was something I meant to tell you yesterday, but I forgot. And then I was remembering it yesterday afternoon. But again, I forgot. <laughs> oh, my God. I am slowly losing my mind. Oh, no, I'm not. Anyway, this is a dress that I bought at the beginning of this year. And it's actually from Kmart. And it's actually in the girls' department. So I don't think you can get this anymore. But, you know, Kmart tends to do that thing where they release the same cut again but maybe a different print so keep your eyes out keep your eyes peeled for those of you who like this I'm going to be keeping an eye out for that too um, and this is like a girl's the largest size which is like a 16 and it fits it, it fits it's fine um, you know I was a little bit thinner at the beginning of the year then I put on weight and now I'm trying to lose it having said that I have been cheating these last couple of days so I don't know what's happened or it's monthly concern I don't know but I feel less trim even though I've been exercising a little bit first of all problems I know I know I know I know did I just look up again sorry okay you know what I've noticed in class what I do is I say now a lot so I'm teaching I'm showing something on the board and then I'll say now and then I move on now and then I move on and I can't stand it I'm even sick of it myself so I said to the boys I said if I say that too much let me know anyway uh, that's the dress and I like this dress because it's just got this faux sort of effect with a bit of a tie so I suppose you could make that tighter like you could bring that in more but I don't I just have it loose so that the dress stays low and it's interesting the design of the stripes you know it's straight here horizontal and then they slope up it's cute it's a nice dress I like it and then I am just wearing those nude um, target heels that I've had for a little while uh, they seem to have stretched or something. They seem to have like, you know, widened or, or something. I don't know. But anyway, in the mornings when I walk, um, when I walk in the mornings, my foot tends to slip out. But then as the day progresses and my foot obviously sort of puffs up, well, not just my foot, my feet puff up, then they sort of fit more snugly. And that's it. I've still got that um, anklet on my ankle. And my jewellery is all the same. I'm still wearing the Henry Bendel set that Krista sent me last couple of Christmases ago. Uh, my earrings are the same except for the front one. This is one I shared. Let's see if I can do this side. There's no light that side. This one I shared in a haul some time ago. And this is by the Australian jewellery designer Samantha Wills. She doesn't do them, like she doesn't seem to do jewellery much anymore. Um, I bought this from the Facebook group, so they were brand new, unworn. They are a bit heavy, but it's got that wide back, so that sort of stabilizes it and keeps it all in place. Uh, because if you have a heavy earring, I've got to change that, I've got to move that. 
because if you have a heavy earring and just a single post it drags on the earlobe that's why you need the wide back to stabilize the earring on the lobe okay i hope this video worked out because my finger tends to sit on the speaker thing down here and sometimes it makes noise i hope that has not happened um, my hair's just been blow waved with the brush i'm just wearing these key australia sunglasses again um, my perfume is that louis vuitton dupe and that's all so i'm gonna head off now go wake up my son again literally drag him out of bed and then you know what now the chaos begins everything's calm at the moment but not for long anyway wish my son luck those of you who pray people please 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 pray for him because he's gonna need it i pray for all the kids out there doing the exam especially mine and um we'll see what happens so take care everybody god bless we'll see you next time